The expedition started out a little rough. We were kind of short-handed with crew. It was tough, you know, the guys are working so hard anyway, but when you're one or two guys short, that just amplifies everything. We're thrilled to have Fernanda, Ami, and Caroline as members of the O-Search crew. We're engaging a lot of the community and the press, and managing them on and off the ship is a big job. So the crew's been able to trickle in over the last couple of days. We got Todd back, we got Troy who's come in and helped us, and that's taken a big load off of Captain Brett and Brandon and DJ. We're, we're missing one more player we got to get here as our chief engineer is stuck in Australia. Mark fills two spots, so um, him being gone is, is a really big, big loss for us right now. Anybody can see that we're shorthanded, you know, and Brandon's stepping up huge. I mean, he's, he's wearing a lot of hats right now. Um, you know, he's managing the vessel and dealing with all kinds of logistical stuff. These guys, you know, I rely on them all the time to do everything. And, and we have a great new guy, DJ. He's a really hard worker. He's pretty impressed with his work ethic so far. He just needs to learn now. And right now, I think that we're uh, looking real good on tackle and the way the boat's running. And I think we're just getting back up to speed on where we need to be with en enough people to get the job done. Or baby white, man. You uh, get fired up. Is that a baby white shark? It's a baby white. It's a baby white. Hey man, we got a, a baby white shark on right next to the boat. We need to send all the people on the safe boat. They're born at like 1.6, 1.8 meters. So that there is going to be pretty much straight out of the womb. You know, it's kind of the, the moments like this that actually um, you learn a lot. This group really is like a family, and uh, some of your family members are gone. It really feels different. <laughs>